Happy Halloween! <laughs> so, today's video is going to be all about all the books I read in October. I only got to five of the books that I wanted to get to um, in the video I made about scary books I want to read in Halloween. Oh well, as always next year. <laughs> I'm sure I can add to the list um, until then. So the first book I read was The Stranger by Carolyn B. Cooney. Um, I gave this three stars as it was, you know, just average, you know. Um, it's about a lonely girl in high school who feels left out because she got replaced on the singing team. Um, and she meets the new boy. Um, and he kind of ignores her, um, so she follows him home and discovers his secret. <laughs> what a good thing to do. Okay, and I really want to tell you, like, what the secret is, because it's really something. Um, but, like, if you don't want to know what it is, plug your ears. <laughs> I'll wait. Are we plugged? Okay. Um, he turns into a rock. Like, he's made of rock. Um, a boulder, in fact. He's a rock boy. <laughs> I laugh to say the least. Okay, you can unplug them. Um, I say the fear factor in this book was minimal. Um, it was more of a dreamy, suspenseful, although I did guess the ending. Um, and I do want to check out another Cooney book called The Face on the Milk Curtain. The second book I read was Buzzkill by Beth Fantasky. Um, I gave this five stars. I thought it was super. Um, I've liked all this author's books that I've read. They all have this humorous, cozy feeling to them that is really fun to read. And it's about this girl who um, stumbles upon this dead body um, at school, and she fancies herself like Nancy Drew. So she wants to solve it, um, and she gets help from the secretive quarterback. So we have it all romance, mystery, humor. Um, the Fear Factor was minimal, it was more suspenseful. The third book I read was Phantom of the Opera by Gaston LaRue. Um, I gave this five stars. I liked it a lot better than um, the other times I've read it because this is like I think my third time reading it. Um, I vlogged my experience reading this. I'll put the link for that in the description. Go check it out. Um, so there's this girl who's getting music lessons from a mysterious source. Um, and a ghost who's terrorizing the opera house. Are they the same person? Is it a man? <laughs> um, what happens when the girl disappears? Why does the ghost wear a mask? So many questions. Um, the fear factor was minimal. It was more dramatic than anything. So dramatic. <laughs> the fourth book was Party Games by R.L. Stein. I gave this three stars. It was really fast-paced page-turner. Um, had the same good level of suspense as the Babysitter series, which is the only other book I've read by him. Uh, it's about a girl who's invited to a party on an island by this boy um, who's into party games of the macabre variety. Um, they start to play a scavenger hunt, and then they discover the first dead body. Will they get off the island alive? Um, the fear factor was slightly more than minimal, but only like a little, um, given the suspense and like cliffhangers. And the fifth and final book that I read was The Island of Dr. Moreau by H.G. Wells. Um, I gave this three stars. Um, the writing was very like dense and kind of hard to get through. Um, I listened to some of this on audiobook, which I'm not really into, but it does uh, make it quicker. Um, H.G. Wells is one of the fathers of science fiction, and I agree. It's very science fiction-y. <laughs> um, it's about a man chipwrecked on an island, and he gets rescued by the two men who live there. One of the men is a scientist, and the island is full of strange creatures. Hmm. Um, I like to see a movie of this. I think there's like two movies that I could find anyway. I think I like to see the older one from the 70s, because I'm sure it's hilarious. <laughs> Um, and the fear factor was minimal. Again, it was more suspense suspenseful. I feel like all these books were more suspenseful than like, you know, horror-y. <laughs> Horror-filled. So, those were the five books I read in October. Um, I think, yeah, that brings me up to 86 books for the year. So let me know what you read in October. Anything spooky? <laughs> 
and I will see you next month.